there, we're going to talk about the butterfly method for finding equivalent fractions today. Let's look at an example, step by step. Step one, you're going to make wing pairs with the two fractions. That means you're going to circle the numerator of fraction one and the denominator of fraction two, then the numerator of fraction two and the denominator of fraction one. See how they kind of look like butterfly wings? That's why it's called the butterfly method. Let's look at step two. Next, we're gonna multiply the wing pairs of the two fractions. So we're gonna multiply four times five and two times 10. Pretty easy so far. Let's check out step three. Now we're gonna write the product of each multiplication problem on top of the wing that we multiplied. So we'll write 20 over four times five and 20 over two times 10 because they both equal 20. So we're gonna compare the two products now as greater than, less than, or equal to. And because 20 equals 20, these fractions are equivalent. Equivalent is the same as saying that they're equal to each other. Now let's try it. Let's look at the fraction 2 thirds and 4 sixths and see if they're greater than each other, less than each other, or equivalent. So I'm gonna make my, my wing pairs first. So I'm gonna circle two and six together and three and four together. Then I'm gonna multiply. Two times six is 12. And four times three is also 12. So these two fractions are equivalent. Let's look at example two. In example two, I have two thirds and three fifths. First thing we're gonna do is draw our wing parts. Two is gonna multiply by five, and three is gonna multiply by three. So now let's multiply our wings. Two times five is 10, and three times three is nine. Are these fractions equivalent? Is 10 equal to nine? No, 10 is greater than nine. So these fractions are not equivalent. Now you do a few examples of your own. Good luck, see you next time, bye.